Welcome back to Quarantine Apologetics, Defending the Faithful Under Lockdown. I'm Alan Rule. Was Jesus Christ always considered to be God in the flesh, Yahweh in the flesh? Uh, or was he a... For example, we have the prologue of John, verses 1 to 18, where it talks about the incarnation. And Jesus, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was... God. Now, if you talk to a liberal, they'll date the Gospel of John to about 90 AD. So 90 AD, 60 years after Jesus. It's a long time. Was that always believed? Or is John inventing this? Is John inventing this? Now, if you talk to a liberal, I'm going to go with their dates here, they will say that the Gospels are written from 70 to 90, Mark being the first, then Matthew and Luke, then John at around 90. Um, by the way, the church has always considered Matthew to be the first gospel. Just just go read the early church fathers, like St. Irenaeus, Eusebius. They, they all say that Matthew's the first. But anyway, let's just go with the libs here. Then, uh, however, th the libs will say the epistles of St. Paul are written between 50 and 60 A.D., so that 20 to 30 years after. So that's better. We're earlier. However, the liberals will also say that Paul hasn't written half of what's attributed to him. Uh, they will say there's only seven authentic Pauline epistles. Now, among these epistles is Philippians. Philippians. So you have... Um, so it's 20 years after Christ... 50 to 60, so 20, 25, 30 tops years after Christ. But that's still a generation, you know, time for legend to develop. But if you take a look at Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 through 11, it says, in verse 5, St. Paul says, In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Let's pause. That's the end of verse 8. Now, uh, so it talks about the incarnation, the same incarnation as John 1. Now, keep in mind, this is most likely pre-Pauline because it, it's in creedal form here. So it's prior to that. This goes back to the earliest generation. Now, in verse 9 through 11, I'm going to read verse 9 through 11 of this early creed. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name. All right, let's pause. That's verse 9. Exalted him to the highest place. Where's the highest place? Where he was before. It says, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. So he was equal with God. He, uh, the incarnation happened. He lowered himself to a man. Then exalted him to the highest place. What's that? Back equal with God. So he's equal. Lowers himself to a man. Back up to, to equal with God. Now, I'm going to read verses 10 and 11, and this is the icing on the cake. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Well, where does it say Jesus is God there? Let me... Uh, I'm going to repeat those two verses. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Now, uh, if you take a look in the Old Testament, if you uh, um, hear people like Rabbi Tobia Singer, they'll say, oh yeah, no one knew about the Trinity in the Old Testament. Let's look at this amazing language here. Isaiah 45, 23. By myself I have sworn my mouth has uttered in all integrity a word that will not 
be revoked. Before me, me, every knee will bow. By me, every tongue will swear. They will say of me, in the Lord alone, our deliverance and strength. Tongue confesses, knee bowing to Almighty Yahweh, to Jesus Christ. That just proves in the pre-Pauline tradition, even before the earliest books of the New Testament, Jesus was believed to be Yahweh in the flesh. So this is the, there's tons of evidence for the deity of Christ in the New Testament. But if you want to be all higher critical and say, what about the early strata, like Shabir Ali used to say, the earliest strata believed that Jesus Christ was Yahweh. They weren't Muslims. They were Christians. So that's all for today. I hope everyone uh, enjoyed this. And um, stay healthy and stay safe. Pray the rosary. And God bless. I'll see you tomorrow.